How's it going guys? This is the Uncaped Crusaders Review. I'm Mark, the only person who's here from the show. Ian is, uh, he's in Alabama and I'm out here in the middle of nowhere in South Dakota. So different locations, but doesn't stop us, that is for sure. But we're still doing the podcast, so if you're not if you're not listening to that, you can find that pretty much at all podcast platforms. I mean, we're on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, which have links to all over our Twitter page at Uncaped Review for all of the different different material that we have. All the different episodes will be there, and then just casual thoughts on DC Comics in general and comics in general, and and of course mostly Batman, because that is, that's really what we're here for. But um, I wanted to put something back up on the YouTube channel, which we haven't done anything with in a long time. As you saw from the title, this one is on the Titans TV show so far, um, and specifically episode six, which just happened, called Jason Todd. If you've listened to the show at all, you know I was not looking forward to this show at all. I thought it was gonna be just awful. Teen Titans, it's kids. It's a kids group and it has an aura of fun and, you know, excitement. That's kind of what Teen Titans has always been. So now kind of changing it into this, you know, more grown up, mature version. Figured I'd give the first episode a shot. And surprisingly, it was pretty decent. And so far I've watched all of them. Just kind of waiting for it to go off the deep end or for me not to be interested anymore. And it hasn't happened yet. I don't enjoy the over violence and the over use of bad language. It's all very forced. Unlike something like Deadpool, which was rated R and that very much fits with the character. It fit with the way the movie was made. It fit with, you know, the character, all of that fit. These characters don't fit that at all. It's very forced. It detracts a little bit, but not enough to ruin the show, which I thought it, it would, but it doesn't. Um, I absolutely love the Dick Grayson character. I think that is spot on and perfect. If you guys watched Batman Animated Series, the episode Old Wounds from the New Adventures of Batman and Robin, the revamped season, the episode where Nightwing is talking to Tim Drake, talking about why he left Batman and that whole story, its it seems exactly the same. It's like the same character. It's like the same vibe that you get from the Dick Grayson character when he leaves Batman. I think it's fantastic. I really think at the end of the season, he'll, it'll kind of end with him being Nightwing. I think that'll be a kind of a season finale type thing. Like with the suit in Daredevil, uh, the end of Daredevil season one. I think it's gonna be kind of a thing like that. Um, Starfire's fine. I don't really like that she doesn't have memory. She's just kind of there for no reason right now. And we're, just, and we're all just kind of waiting for her to, you know, have a place. Just kind of waiting on it. Uh, we'll see. I like Gar. I like Gar Logan. I think Beast Boy is great. I think that character's spot on. Raven is a little weird to me because that's not anything like the character we're used to. You know, they made her way younger than everybody else. And it's the same trope which we've had so many times now where it's the super powerful kid that can't control their powers and they're really dangerous but they're also really nice and don't mean to be not a big fan of that but i like the actress i think she does a good job with what the character is and we'll see where it leads um i'm assuming it's going to be leading to trigon that'll probably be the end of the the season some sort of finale and that'll be exciting but yeah i've liked i've liked the show so far and then episode six though jason todd uh, really should not have been called Jason Todd. I think the title's a little misleading. He is introduced in it, obviously, and we get to see him throughout the whole episode, but it's not about him. It's 100% about Dick Grayson and this guy who's the son of Tony Zuko, the guy who killed his parents, who we find out that Dick, you know, basically killed Tony Zuko, was thinking about it, and then let left him to die, fed him up to the mob. So responsible for the death, we find that out, you know, and then this guy's the son of Tony Zuko, and he's kind of going around, and now for his revenge, killing off all the members of Haley Circus, where, where Dick grew up. Also, spoilers, sorry. So that was that was a really good idea. I like that idea, bringing kind of a character from the past back. We're still learning about these characters, even though we know the Dick Grayson character in the in the realm of the show, we're still learning about him and about why he's left Batman, you know, these specifics and stuff like that. And pieces are coming out and I like that a lot. Yeah, so it's keeping a, an aura of mystery. Jason Todd was a great foil. I thought they did a very good job with him. Obviously, when you're as big of a comic fan as I am, you're sitting there hoping all the characters are accurate. It's really the only thing you really care about when a character is introduced. And so far, every character on the show, for the most part, 
has been pretty much spot on. I talked about Dick Grayson was great. Jason Todd was great as well. And, and they keep the backstories the same. Little things that mean nothing to the actual show that they don't change. Like they keep the same thing. They, they kept exactly Jason Todd's origin. They, they didn't delve into it. You didn't show, you know, it wasn't a plot point, but it was Dick being like, how did he find you? And it was, you know, boosting cars, taking the hubcaps off the Batmobile. It was exactly the way it is in the comics. They just keep it the same. I don't know why movies and, and things can't do that. So that was great. They kept the backstory the same. I liked the way they interacted. You know, Dick kind of over this guy. Jason not looking up to him as the other Robin. Dick not even knowing that he existed, that there was another Robin, then finding out he's been replaced. And, you know, didn't want anything to do with Batman, but now has that little bit of, ah, I got replaced. You know, a little bit of pride, but you don't like that. And then, so the whole time I was like, well, Jason Todd, you know, his biggest thing is he's kind of a loose cannon, not super likable, rash. I was a little worried at first that he wasn't quite like that. And then they, they show, you know, they ended up showing it by the end and all. I'm not sure how big of a fan of I was at the full ending with Jason Todd going back, destroying all those cops for no reason. It wasn't like they were cornered and they had to fight their way out to, you know, to get away. And for him just to go all loose cannon and, you know, destroy them all didn't really make sense. I mean, again, his character's not supposed to be likable. He's supposed to be kind of a loose cannon and above this but he was never like a villain and then when dick confronts him about it he's saying nah why not i can beat up cops if i want and there was no reason given i mean he talked about not really liking cops earlier but that was never really a plot point with jason and to have that be kind of a big motivating factor for him is kind of annoying like that almost gives him no they almost gave him no redeeming qualities at all which again we're supposed to not necessarily like him that much for keeping it accurate but i thought they went a little too far and i didn't really like that but we'll see. We'll see what happens. That'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But um, yeah, overall, good episode. Um, good show so far. I haven't been doing this for each episode, so kind of just talking about the whole show as a whole, uh, uh, as I've seen it the past, you know, the first six episodes. And then next week, we'll see. Looks like they're all going to get kidnapped, like captured and, and tortured and experimented on. We'll see what happens. And hopefully the show continues to be good and I'll continue to watch it. So stay tuned. Um, I'll be posting a lot more updates here on the YouTube channel. Just my thoughts on things when when news comes out, when movies come out. Sit here and share my thoughts with you guys. So yeah, make sure you sub you subscribe here. Follow us on Twitter at Uncaped Review. You can follow me on Twitter at Marky Mark Brand, or you can follow Ian at Sir Rancelot Eight. And yeah, listen to our podcast, The Uncaped Crusaders Review, every week Friday morning. We are going through watching every Batman film. We just finished Batman Beyond: Return of the Joker, and then. Coming up next Friday, it will be Batman uh, Mystery of the Batwoman. So that'll be the next one up. So that'll do it for this episode. I'll talk to you guys next time.